This is a story of a nation in crisis, of a rental market where demand is far outstripping supply, and of people dealing with rental prices increasing at unprecedented levels. In the Australian capital cities, the combined rental rate increased by 11.7% over the past year, far in excess of the average 3.5% increase. That's an increase of $63 a week, or a staggering $3,200 a year on average. The CoreLogic Rental Pulse report for April 2021 indicates a 20.9% decrease in the total supply of capital city rental listings compared to the same time last year. In Sydney, the most expensive capital city to rent in, the average rent is around $711 a week, a yearly increase of 13.1%. Melbourne, traditionally the most affordable, has been overtaken by Adelaide at $534 a week. The report blames a mismatch in supply and demand for the record increase, a trend which is expected to continue. The flow of new unit approvals since 2018 has been below the average for the last decade, meaning an increasing shortage of rental units for those without any other housing option. Concerns are rising for tenant households, especially for those with low incomes or on job seeker payments, who are being forced to bear the brunt of a crisis that is beyond their control. Leo Patterson Ross from the Tenants Union of NSW said of the increases, the tipping point has already well and truly passed. He is calling for strategies of fair limits on rent increases and rent setting at the start of a tenancy, as well as increased genuinely affordable housing supply to ease the burden on renters. Responding to the report, Caitlin Easy, the CoreLogic economist who created the report, acknowledged the unprecedented nature of the increase. She said, these are the strongest increases we have on record, and a rental increase of $3,200 is quite monumental for anyone. I don't think anyone's looking at this number and thinking this is normal. The situation is dire, and we can see no sign of relief for tenants in the near future, as demand for rentals continues to outstrip availability. In the wake of a crisis that shows no sign of slowing down, we need to be asking ourselves, who will be the ones to suffer the least. A call to arms, both from industry and from government is desperately needed, to ensure that the most vulnerable are able to have a roof over their head.